welcome back, uh, gentlemen. You. If you've just joined us, we're having Mr. Samuel uh, Kanede, quickly um, a financial consultant. We are having Mr. Dan Ndegwa, who's a business person, and of course, our seasoned panelist, who's a politician, engineer, Francis. Um, I, w I, w I want us to talk about solutions to youth unemployment in this country, because we have talked about statistics, um, what young people are facing in this nation. And um, I'll start with, with, with what was proposed as part of the solution. By a member of parliament for Sabaoti, mm -hmm. he's called Mr. Uh, um, um, he's called Honorable Kale, brother. And I quote, if we have a cash transfer program for the elderly, why not for the young people? What do you think of this? <laughs> Is it a, a solution? Me, I'll say no. Because, eh? Asking the financial analyst, money is never the problem sometimes in business. And the ideas, the ideas, the business idea is a challenge. Because I will not, we would not bank on all youth and say that we will give them like stipends or some months, some cash to start business. Because I don't think it will never happen. It will never happen to, to some people. So it's a wrong idea. Yes, totally wrong idea. Uh, Mr. Ndeg, what do you think? I mean, the elderly people in this country are given um, 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 money by the government. Do you think the young people should also be um, 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 given money? To me, some of the ideas are unbelievable. Okay. Why do we give the old people money, the stipends that we give them? Yeah. It's simply because they are not able to, to work and no. Get you know their life going. It, okay. We are trying to help them. When we give the young people, it's for what? We are telling them we give them the stupid this day at home. It is a wrong idea. It is a wrong. Let's it's... give them the, the the fishing rod. Okay. In terms of uh, training them, in terms of equipping them, empowering them, and let them work with their hands. They are young, they are vibrant, all they need is a good environment. So you but believe we ought not to be giving young people what you're giving the elderly, the stipends you're giving the elderly. Um, Samuel Kanyada, I'll come to you, um, again being a young person in this country and in the panel too, considering that young people are labeled as high risk borrowers by many banks and lending institutions, I mean, is having a kitty for young people not a great idea? The kitty for young people is there. We don't need... There is a difference between having a kitty and shedding... I'm, I'm not talking about the youth fund kitty. I'm talking about um, what is given to the elderly. The, 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 the no. same type of Mr. Mungai, direct injection, Mr. money Mungai, given to, 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 we young to people, each and every young person in this country. We young people, we are not, we are not, the issue has never been money. There are a lot of people with money who have no business idea or any idea to do with the money. So the question is, even the Honorable himself, would you prefer to give skills to your children or okay. give them the money? We, the, the saying goes that if you don't educate your children, you cannot give them any property because they will not even be know how to manage. Okay. So the handout is not the solution. The solution we are saying is let the government have systems Change if the education system is the issue. Empower young people. Offer a good environment where we are not afraid of trying anything. Nothing is beyond limit. And as long as the idea is good, let the funds that have been created be offered to the young people. People who, young people who have ideas and business ideas. We so you, you, you all seem to agree that we ought not to give young people what you're giving to. Uh, to the elderly people, we'll come back to a kitty, another kitty which has been given to young people, which is Youth Fund. Now, during the third annual National Youth Convention, it was held in Nairobi, parties involved agreed, and by parties I mean um, um, young leaders, county reps, government reps, among other stakeholders, um, they said, part of the resolution that they said that ought to be used to eradicate um, youth unemployment is by creating a youth ministry. In support of that, in general, Francis? Maybe we have the gender, the gender ministry, yeah. led by Sisley Kariuki. But I believe the the youth issue maybe if if we look at it from the political part of it, sorry to say most politicians would prefer unemployed youth. Okay. 
as far as far as considered to maybe some other leaders who prefer youths who are able to generate ideas and do things for themselves. Yeah. A politician, an employed youth is an asset. You would come to think of it, but though it's a crude way of thinking. So do you think do you do you think do you think <laughs> so I it's a crude way of thinking by the way? Um as a politician I yeah, think you have a point also. Yeah, but um, that's um, what I'm saying is crude way of thinking, but I think they would prefer it that way, so that they can always win. Since we are having first hand information on, <laughs> on what <laughs> that's that's politicians those are, politicians so those are behind the scenes. Think of us. Those are behind the scenes information. Okay. Okay. A politician will say now if I give them fifty fifty they work for me. <laughs> yeah. okay. But again, on the issue of policy, it, these are and, and, and youth ministry. Yeah, should, should they be creating one? It's the I think it's at agenda they are doing the same thing. So agenda is there, so I don't know if they want to create another one. Maybe the the duplication of the same roles. I think okay. Cicely is Kariuki is doing the same thing. The okay. NYS, the, so you think we should not be having a direct not, basically ministry. we are not a sick community as people may think that youth can do something by the way. Okay. We are not all that special as people want to put us. Basically we are a very sensitive group that has a lot of ideas. And if if we are not well utilized, we are time bomb. Mr. Ndego will come to you. Politicians love, as you said, unemployed youths. They, they would wish that group to remain the same, unemployed probably, and probably also uneducated, um, 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 because it's, it's easy to manipulate um, such groups. Is creating a youth ministry um, helpful to this cause of eradicating uh, youth unemployment in this country? First and foremost, I'm glad a politician is <laughs> honest, honest enough, <laughs> honest enough to, say what to, to say what it is. That is a very crude way of thinking. And to comment on that, I must say we must change. We must get tired of this kind of politics where we are depending on the vulnerability of the populace for a benefit. It is very crude as he said. It's very crude as he says. Um, the, 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 the youth ministry, we already have a youth ministry. It's already there. Okay. It is working. Do we really have a youth ministry in this we country? Do. We do. It's yeah. called it's called public service youth and gender affairs. And 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 the young people in this um, um, national youth convention, um, which I said was the third one, was the third annual one. I mean, they said they want to have a specific youth ministry for youth affairs. To do what? I think maybe to probably come, to discuss matters youth employment among other issues. To that point. I think it was it was very clear the the government has what we call the agenda four. The agenda four actually means to take care of even the, the youth and the youth and employment. And how they? And the, I think the implementation, rather than talking of another creating of a ministry, let us implement the agenda four. Let's implement. Let's let's implement the agenda four. Let's hear from the horses now. Let's hear from the horses now. Let's hear from my young person. Do you think they seem to disagree? Is it because they are not probably? Um, in that bracket of young people, that young people ought not to be given a ministry. Do you think young people deserve a ministry? Do you think 75% of the population need to be had? We are saying that if we are the majority, we ought to be listened direct. We ought to be taken care of, as he has said, Mr. Engineer Francis, that even if the ministry is there, the ministry actually is not the issue, but we are just saying that what we are crying out loud as we are asking for a ministry is not actually the ministry we are asking. We are asking, can our voices be heard and only be heard, but action being taken upon? We are seeing the government, millions and millions and millions, being stolen away from young youth people in the NYS. Yet there is no conviction, the money is not there, and it's pure theft. And in the list of all those people who have stolen the youth, there is not even one youth. It could have been, I'm not saying for, for, the, for, the, for the purpose, we wish it could have been a youth. We wish it was a group of youth who has stolen the money. Then that could be another thing. So it's a group of non-youth. It's a group of non-youth stealing youth. Money meant for the youth. For the youth. So you do support, we should be having a youth ministry. We should. Headed by a young person, of course. Not even necessarily a young person. We are saying we are trying to learn from them, the, the, the elder statesman. Okay? We are saying they can run it, but they should also be mentoring young people to feel part. Okay. 
of the ministry. We are asking for, we are not even actually asking for the ministry itself. We are asking to be incorporated in that gender and you. That's exactly what you are saying. Incorporated is, 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 is the word, a very key word. Uh, Mr. Samuel has used. Uh, I'll come back to you, um, um, Honorable. Um, uh, I keep calling you Honorable <laughs> Engineer Person because you're a politician and you ran for office um, some time back. But even those who, 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 who never passed are, are still called Honorables, I believe, in this country. <laughs> Topic for another day, though. Um, um, he's talking about youths being given an opportunity through the youth ministry and other ministries. And incorporation is a word he used. Tenders in this country rarely go to young people. 75% of Kenyans are young people. Tenders rarely go to young people. Um, we have um, um, jobs being given, government jobs, recycling of government jobs. You are saying that sometime back on this show. Recycling of government jobs to the same old and same old and same old people. What do you think of this? Are young people not um, 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 deserving to, 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 to tenders to government jobs? They deserve one. They are, they, they, at least where they qualify, they, they should get it. And I, I want to make it very clear. And you think more, many of them are qualified at the moment? Let, as let, let me tell you something. Because I also do business. And I feel that there is always the, the pre-qualification. I think as much as there is a youth label, there is also the, the, the inside part of business. But a youth wants to do business. One, he or she should, should assure that he has a clean financial record. Also, he or she should keep himself in a good state of mind because basically you don't just qualify because we are youth. But a financial record, but a, a financial record, um, um, engineer Francis, a financial record from what? Basically, this is a young person from financial university. Record, you want to start a business yeah. and, and, and you want him to have a clean financial record. He might have borrowed here and there. He might be having a help <laughs> loan. Let me tell and, you and, and, and I'm, I'm also a beneficiary, beneficiary of help and I pay. And I, I didn't start paying because I got employed. I started paying it before I get, got employed. But there are like three segments in business. Don't forget that you have the micro, the small, and the medium. And a business model, you don't have to start with a very big business. He will tell you that. Okay. Some people, I may take our deputy president, he, sta he said he started by selling... S a chicken seller. So it's not about starting big. You start big and think big. You start small, think big, think globally. What we are doing nowadays uh, as youth, we want to, to, to make, to, we think so much about the money. And I always tell people money is not the problem here. The, the, the problem here is what we have, the idea that you have. Because some big businesses started small. Big yeah. businesses start small, yeah. but you have to start somewhere. Yeah, and, now and, 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 and start today. Don't say now, you see, I have only 50 shillings. We're talking about a youth fund which has been looted um, 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 for quite some time now. Do we have a youth fund which is working? Um, can young people access that money, the youth fund money? And, and other kit is meant for young people. Do you think young people are to blame um, for, uh, for predicaments uh, they're having at the moment? Or, or you think it's mainly the government and the society to blame? The first question we need to ask ourselves is why are they considered a, a risk? by the banks and the leading institutions. One of the reasons is because, number one, they are not experienced. Number two, they are, don't have the skills even to run business. They, they have not been taught, a lot of them. And of course, another major issue is security. They so don't have lands, they don't have, they don't have ports, they don't have so, cars. So, so they are high risk, and that's why the banks won't want to work, they are in business, they won't work, want to work with them. So what we need to do, is to empower these young people from the beginning, from early age. We start yeah. from early age, instill business skills, guide them career-wise as they grow up from the, when they are young. And we have an opportunity now with the change of curricula. Let's start there. It won't be long to be a few years and we have business people. Let, let's, I have a feeling, let's not Let's not just think of youth and youth running business. C can they partner with the more experienced so that we stop looking at just the youth? Can okay. we help them partner with people who are experienced so that they'll be able to access those funds, they'll be able to access 
you know, even the ways of fund, because there is a youth in the business and there is a mentor, there is someone to guide them along. We will reduce the chances of their businesses failing because they have someone to mentor them. Be so men, men, mentorship programs in this country is, it should program. be part of the solution. Should be part of it. Um, um, Samuel, you seem to agree with that. Mentorship programs should be. Mr. Jenga has said exactly what I said. Mr. Ndegwa. Mr. Ndegwa has yeah. said exactly what I said from the beginning. That elder states people should not look at young people as a threat. Or a liability problem. Or a liability. Because they are the same people who have invested in us in universities, in school. Then, when you finish university, why does they let you go to look for work? Why should they not put us close as the same as when we were young, okay, as we were growing up? Let them show us how the steps are done, okay? Let us, we are very willing to learn. There is no youth out right there that will be hold, that will be taken off the streets and hold his hand and tell him to show business and he will refuse. But how many have done that? We have seen even in families. You have a family where your father or your mother runs a very big business and they don't even take their own Rarely are these young, young people, people incorporated to the work. So when do you expect us to learn if you don't have the chance? All we are lacking is okay. we are asking for mentorship. Simple. Okay, Once simply, we are told uh, uh, this is the way to go, we follow. So young people have not refused um, mentorship programs and, 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 and what the older generation ought to teach um, young people. I Mr. have Debra, a very you, good example. You have an example, okay. him. I happened, uh, in my home there happens to be one youth. Okay. Left Form 4, went to a college. The, 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 the college itself ensured that all their students get, got internships. Uh, she's in the hospitality uh, industry, okay. so they ensured all the students get internships. You know what has happened? Due to mentoring of this young girl, mm -hmm. she did so well in the internship, the hotel has hired her permanently. That's a very good example of what should be happening in this nation. So that young that's, girl will uh, never talk about unemployment. Because she was mentored. She was mentored. So she that's that that should be part and parcel of the solution. That should be part as as we take a break, um, yes. I'm sorry to cut you short, Mr. Dego. We always have a mini poll here on the focus gavel. All I'll need from you uh, is a yes or no. Today you'll not explain as to why you're yes or no because of time. I'll start with you, Mr. Kanyada. The first question is the Jubilee government committed in tackling youth unemployment? No. Mr. Ndeko? Is the youth, uh, is, is the Jubilee government committed to tackling youth unemployment? Yes. Um, Engineer Francis? Partially, yes. Partially, yes. The second question, are young people partially to blame for their unemployment predicament? Shamal Kangada? You have said partially, right? Yeah. Yeah. They are partially to blame? Um, Mr. Ndego? No. They are not partially to blame? Um, Engineer Francis? Partially to blame. Partially to blame. We'll take another quick break, but don't go anywhere because after the break, we want to talk about the two third gender rule. Uh, there was a very hot debate today in parliament, and um, we also want to talk about um, one or two, three things about politics, um, current political affairs in this country. Kalonzo Musioko was given a job, by the way. Uh, Engineer Francis, you, you, you seem to be warming up <laughs> to, to politics every time we talk about politics. We'll talk about that after the break. The number is 22644. We are live on Facebook, Star Times, and of course, Go TV. This is the Focus Gavel right here on Focus TV. We are, as usual, and always straight to the point. <laughs> 